In this video, we want to see how to bring variables from an Excel worksheet into Power Query so we can change the input from the Excel worksheet and have our Power Query output update. Now for our example, we want to bring these two conditions in, filter the table, and then export it to the Excel worksheet. In order to get something from the Excel worksheet into Power Query, we have to convert it to an Excel table. So we use the keyboard Control-T. Click OK. Now we go up to Table Design, and we'll name our table. Something like Input Variable and Enter. Now we go up to Data. In Get and Transform, we click From Table. This brings our variables into the Power Query window as a table. On the left, we want to click and Open Queries. We can see both. If we click on F Sales, that's the unfiltered table. Back on Input Variable, this is a table with two columns. We actually need to reference this and then extract product and website as conditions and criteria to filter F Sales. So right click, Reference. Now when we reference, it creates a new query with a simple one-line formula that says equals the output from our input variable. I'm going to F2 to rename this, Website Variable, and Enter. Now this is a table, and if we're trying to get that item right there, that means we have to do a two-way lookup, first retrieving the row, then the column. Now in Power Query, it says 1 right there, but Power Query is base 0. So if we're trying to get something from the first row, it's actually the 0 row. We use, right after the table, our positional index operator, curly brackets. Inside, we put the position of the row we want, 0, and Enter. Now we could see over here we have the icon for a record. That's the icon for a table. From this record, we need to access that field. So we use our field access operator, square brackets, and then the name of the column. And when I hit Enter, there's my condition or criteria. Now that's the formula for a two-way lookup. Table, positional index operator to get the row, field access operators to get the column. Right click, duplicate. That duplicates the exact code, which for us is a single line. Now I just come up and change website to product and enter. Come over F2. Product variable and enter. And there it is. There's my condition or criteria. Now I can use these queries over in this other query. In the product column, we will filter. And it doesn't matter what item we select. Select just one, click OK. And then the same thing for website. Just one, click OK. We can see up in the formula bar, there's our M code. Table.selectRows. And there's condition one, condition two. Highlighting. I can type product, and look at that. There's the product variable tab. That's the whole query, which happens to be a single text item from our Excel worksheet. And same thing over here. There's my website variable and tab. Now, this line of code is going to filter our F sales table. But those two variables are coming from here, which is coming from there, which is coming from the Excel spreadsheet. When I hit Enter, our table is filtered. Now, we have three new queries here. So for the time being, I'm going to close and load, close and load two. Only create a connection. That means all three will be sitting in our Power Query window, but not loaded to the Excel worksheet. Click OK. Now I come to F Sales, right click, load two. Now I'll load this one right there, B8, click OK. Now, we did a filter on an existing table. But again, these could be different numbers or whatever you want to use inside your query, inside the Power Query Editor. But now, if I come up and change this to Quad, click the Refresh button, and now our query in the Excel worksheet is updated based on our condition from the Excel worksheet. Now, next video, we'll see how to bring an Excel variable and bring it into a DAX formula in the data model. Now, if you want to learn more about Power Query two-way lookup or you want a comprehensive introduction to M code and Power Query, check out these videos.